Okay, my YouTube people. I wanted to do a video on how to find top dead center on any engine, really. I'll use a Harley engine as a demonstration as to how to find it, but this is, holds true to mostly any engine. The first thing I do is you spin the engine around and you have to spin it in the direction of its normal rotation. And with a Harley, the normal rotation on any of the V-twins was in the direction that the wheels turn to go forward. You turn it forward like so. Now, Mayan has an exposed nut on the pulley on the left side, but generally you want to use fifth gear to do this. You just lift the rear of the motorcycle off the ground, use your foot or your hand to rotate the rear tire forward. Okay. So the first thing I do when I'm doing this I put my finger over the spark plug hole of the cylinder that I want to find top dead center on. Generally, that's going to be the front cylinder. Harley indicates most of their timing that I know of anyway off of the front cylinder. So what I do is I put my finger over that hole and then when it starts to blow air out the hole, you know you're coming up on the compression stroke. Now I have no idea where this engine currently is. So I just give it a turn. Okay, you can hear where it's starting to come up on top dead center. So once it starts to blow air out past your finger, you want to get something and put it in the cylinder. I've seen people use a straw and that's probably a great idea, something that's non-metallic. I've always used a screwdriver and never have a problem. You just don't want to get it in there cocked and that's where if you're not familiar with this, a straw would work great. So at this point, I put it down in there and I'm pretty much at top dead center where you saw me stop. Now I just take, and you can see I'm past top dead center, and I'm before it. Coming up, stops there, starts to go down there, and again, you can sit here and rock it back and forth, and you're going past top dead center and then before it, and you just wanna do it real nice and easy until you find it. And it pretty much feels like it's right there, it's kinda of stopped there. It'll dwell a little at the top, they all do, and that's where top dead center is. So you should be able to see that in the camera, and that's that dot right there in the center. And, and that's how you find top dead center. Now, a lot of times when you're putting the ignition in, they want you to be at the timing mark that's before top dead center. And generally that timing mark on most Harley V twins is 35 degrees before top dead center. So let's see what that looks like. Again, there's the dot. Now I'm going to rotate it backwards. And backwards is where you're going to want your timing to be because the, the spark needs to be there before you actually hit top dead center. Now that's your advance mark on your flywheels. And like I said, you rotate that backward. Now I'm going to rotate the flywheels backwards. And there's another mark on here that you don't want to get confused with. And it looks like the top dead center mark. It's a drill mark. And that's it right there. Now, I want to make sure that you can see that. It's in the hole right there. Now, you don't want to get that one confused. So there's three marks on these flywheels as they turn. There's this mark. There's the advance mark of the front cylinder. And then there is top dead center on the front cylinder. You can see that one's lower in there where that first dot's more higher in that inspection hole. And that's exactly how you find these on the compression stroke. Now the camshaft turns at half the speed as the crank, and that's why it's important to be on a compression stroke because these marks will come around again, but you won't be on the compression stroke. And that's important to remember. So for all you guys that have some kind of open belt drive or enclosed belt drive, you can always find a way to mark it and this is how I did it. Kind of think it's funny, but I'm gonna leave it on there. Anyhow, uh, definitely an easy way to time your bike with a belt drive is to have the advance mark. And then TDC is for top dead center mark. And then you don't have to open up the plug and make a mess with oil. You can just bring it up to 2000 RPMs and you should be at the advance mark. One thing I wanted to point out is that 
the different Harley engines that have inspection holes usually have different timing marks on the flywheel. For instance, this is for a 97 Evo motor. The first one here with the line is the front cylinder top dead center. And when I showed it on my later shovel motor, that mark was the advance mark. You don't want to get confused going from engine to engine. The advance mark on this one is double punch mark in the inspection hole. These marks here are for a 78 to 84 shovel. Now you can see the advance mark on here is the line where the Evo, that was top dead center. And then you have the dot for the top dead center. Also, they give you some ranges for the timing mark if you're using a timing light. Again, these are the marks for an early shovel up to early 1978 because they split in the middle of 78 from the 1200 to the 1340. And these are the marks for a pan head. So you can see it's important to find top dead center. That way you can find the advanced marks. And again, this works for any engine, whether it's a car or anything else, by putting your finger on it and then putting something in the cylinder, if you can, to find top dead center on the compression stroke. All right, well, I appreciate you watching. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, do me a favor and hit that like button. That doesn't cost you anything and it helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.